If you are looking for the best budget gaming monitor 2024, well, you're in the right place. We've dug deep and conducted extensive research, and now we're breaking down the absolute best budget gaming monitor. We're talking about the perfect balance between price and performance, tailored for different scenarios. If you're eager to find out which suits you best, don't go anywhere. Stick around till the end because we've got all the links for the best prices in the description below. No specific order, just the top contenders in the game. Ready to dive into the world of best budget gaming monitor. Let's get started. Number 5. Asus ROG Strix Asus's latest gaming panel is a super wide, 49-inch monster of a monitor with high refresh rate and HDR support. However, you'll pay dearly for such a monitor without a USB-C port. The Asus ROG Strix XG49 VQ does 49-inch gaming monitor with a premium curved LCD panel in a 32 to 9 aspect ratio, offering a spectacular visual experience. It features FreeSync 2 HDR support, Display HDR 400 certification, and a 144Hz refresh rate. The design is stylish with a slim bezel, sturdy stand, and various adjustment options. However, the native resolution of 3840 by 1080 pixels may seem modest for its size, favoring gamers who prioritize refresh rate over pixel count. The panel's VA technology ensures vibrant colors, but might have slightly slower response times. Connectivity includes HDMI 2.0 and DisplayPort 1.2, but lacks USB-C. For gaming, the monitor excels, providing a visually immersive experience. The compromise in resolution allows for decent detail without excessive GPU load. However, the super-wide aspect ratio can be challenging for some games, as not all support the expanded field of view. On the downside, the low native resolution negatively impacts desktop usage, resulting in coarse image quality, rough fonts, and a lack of clarity. Productivity suffers, especially compared to monitors with higher resolutions. The 32 to 9 aspect ratio is also less suitable for video watching, with unused screen space. In summary, the Asus RG Strix XG49 V3 delivers a stunning gaming experience but falls short in desktop productivity due to its lower resolution and image processing. Number 4. HP Omen 27Q The HP Omen 27Q is an entry-level, budget-friendly gaming monitor. With a 1440p resolution and 165Hz refresh rate, it's a newer monitor than the similar HP X27Q, and it's a lower-end model than the HP Omen 27Qs, which has a 240Hz refresh rate. It includes FreeSync variable refresh rate VR technology, but it's rather basic in terms of features as it lacks a USB hub, and only has two HDMI 2.0 ports and one DisplayPort 1.4 input. It also includes a 3.5mm audio jack, but other than that, it's bare bones and extra perks. The HP Omen 27Q is good for most uses. It's designed as a gaming monitor with a 165Hz refresh rate, VR support, low input lag for a responsive feel, and a fast response time at high refresh rates, but there's more blur at lower refresh rates. It has a 27-inch screen and 1440p resolution that help make it good for office use or content creation. It also has good text clarity and wide viewing angles, making it easy to share your screen. It's good if you want to use it in a bright room thanks to its good reflection handling and great peak brightness. However, it struggles in a dark room, like if you're watching a movie or show, as blacks look gray and it doesn't have a local dimming feature to improve it. The HP Omen 27Q is a great gaming monitor that offers the essentials for gaming, like a 165Hz refresh rate, VR support, low input lag, and a fast response time at high refresh rates. The 1440p resolution is also a nice touch if you like seeing details in your games. While it's great for what it offers, especially at a low cost, you can get better value with other budget-friendly monitors like the Dell G2724D, which has better motion handling, and the Gigabit M27QP, which has extra features that make it more versatile. Number 3. Dell Curved Gaming Monitor S2722DGM The Dell S2722DGM is a good 27-inch 1440p monitor with a VA panel. It's a good monitor with very good contrast, excellent gray uniformity, and a superb SDR color gamut. It has just decent reflection handling but great peak brightness, so glare shouldn't be an issue for most users. It's one of the best monitors for gaming with a VA panel that we've tested so far, with fantastic low input lag, 
an excellent response time at the max refresh rate and support for AMD's FreeSync premium variable refresh rate technology. The VA panel has some downsides, though, as there's noticeable black smearing in dark scenes and the image degrades when viewed at an angle. Overall, though, it's a good monitor that should please most people. The Dell S2722 DGN has a simple design that blends it anywhere. Dell has added an ambient downlight feature on the bottom bezel, but there's no bias lighting on the back. The Dell S2722 DGM seems to have good overall build quality. It's all plastic, but there's very little flex in most of the panels. The front bottom bezel has a bit of flex, which is pretty common and shouldn't cause any issues. When the stand adjusts to the maximum height, there's a bit of wobble, but it's not too bad. The Dell S2722 DGM is a decent monitor for media creation. The 27-inch 1440p screen delivers great screen real estate, meaning you can see more of your project at once and it has good text clarity. It has a superb SDR color gamut, but coverage of the Adobe RGB color space might be too low for professional use. It has excellent gray uniformity, good gradient handling, and very good contrast. Unfortunately, the image degrades at an angle, and the stand can't swivel or rotate to portrait orientation. Number 2. Acer Nitro XFA 243Y The Acer Nitro XF 243Y Premium Parks is an excellent budget gaming monitor. It delivers amazingly smooth and responsive gameplay due to its low input lag, fast response time, and 165Hz refresh rate. It has an IPS panel with wide viewing angles, and its excellent ergonomics include a full 360-degree swivel range, making it great for sharing content and playing co-op games. It has both native FreeSync support and GSENC compatibility to reduce screen tearing. Its 24-inch screen should be big enough for most gamers, but it might feel a bit cramped for work, especially if you like having multiple windows open side by side. Unfortunately, it has a low contrast ratio that makes blacks look gray, which isn't ideal for dark rooms. Also, it can't deliver a good HDR experience because it can't display a wide color gamut and doesn't get bright enough to make highlights stand out the way they should. We tested the 23.8-inch Acer Nitro XF 243Y Pumi Parks also known as the Nitro XF3 series. There's a 27-inch model in the same series, the Acer Nitro XF273 Spmi Parks. However, we haven't tested it. The Acer Nitro XF243 Wide Pumi Parks is an excellent budget gaming monitor, one of the best that we've tested in its price range. However, like most budget monitors, it lacks additional features such as USB ports, and it can't display a wide color gamut for HDR. For more options, check out our recommendations for the best gaming monitors, the best 24-25 inch monitors, and the best gaming monitors under $200. The Acer Nitro XF243 Wide Pumia Parks is great for office use. It has wide viewing angles and excellent ergonomics, making it ideal for sharing the screen with coworkers. It handles reflections well and gets bright enough to combat glare. For some people, the screening can feel a little cramped, especially if you work with multiple windows open side by side, and the 1080p resolution might be too low. Number 1. Samsung Odyssey G55A The Samsung Odyssey G5 slash G55A S27 A G55 is a mid-level 1440p gaming monitor. It's part of Samsung's 2021 Odyssey gaming lineup, and it replaces the Samsung Odyssey G5 C27 G55T and sits alongside the Samsung Odyssey G5 S27 A G50. It also sits above the Samsung Odyssey G4 slash G40BS 27 BG40, which has a higher refresh rate but lower resolution. It's available in both the 27 and 32 inch model, and both sizes have a curved 1440p V8 panel and a fast 165Hz refresh rate. It's FreeSync Premium certified and supports HDR, but there are very few additional gaming features. It also lacks advanced productivity features like USB 3.0 or USB-C inputs. The Samsung G55 looks nearly identical to the Samsung Odyssey G5 C27 G55T. It has thin bezels on three sides, but there's a bit of dead space between the bezels and the first pixels, which is distracting if you're using it in a multi-monitor setup. The Samsung G55 has decent build quality. There's very little flex in the back plastic, and the housing feels sturdy overall. The stand supports the monitor well, and although it wobbles a bit, it recovers quickly. None of the materials used feel premium, but there are no significant issues, either. Sadly, this monitor has terrible ergonomics. It has a fairly standard tilt range, meaning you can adjust the screen a bit, but you'll need to vest amount it to get an ideal viewing position. 
The inputs are bottom facing and somewhat hard to access, and there's a loop on the top of the stand for basic cable management. If you want a newer monitor with much better ergonomics, check out the Samsung OBC G5 slash G51 CS27 CG51. The Samsung OBC G55A is okay for casual gaming. It has excellent low input lag for a responsive gaming experience and supports FreeSync Premium to reduce screen tearing. Sadly, despite its high refresh rate, it has a bad response time, so motion looks blurry, especially in dark scenes. It also has terrible ergonomics and a bad horizontal viewing angle, so it's not a good choice for co-op gaming.